Today, I'll be showing you how to log in to cPanel. The most important step is your email inbox. When you sign up for a web hosting plan, every web hosting provider sends instructions and login details for your web hosting account and cPanel. Checking that welcome email will allow you to find the information you need to access your web hosting account and cPanel. Mind you, some web hosting providers only send the login details for the web hosting account, while others send both the web hosting account login details and the cPanel details. You can see this web hosting provider sent the cPanel login details, including the cPanel URL, the username, and the password. These details can be used to access cPanel directly. Irrespective of the email you got, you can use that information to access your cPanel. Now, there are multiple ways to access your cPanel account. The first way you can access cPanel is through your web hosting account dashboard. I find this to be the easiest way to access cPanel. Remember, you can log into your web hosting account using the details provided in the welcome email. This usually is your username and your password. While I'm using InMotion hosting for the first example, the same process applies to every web hosting provider. You usually will have to log in with your username or email and your web hosting account password. So I'm just going to go ahead and impute mine and log in. As expected, the web hosting account dashboard differs for every web hosting provider. However, the options are similar. You should be able to see an option on your web hosting account dashboard that says cPanel or login to cPanel. Clicking on this option will automatically log you into your cPanel account. With this method, you don't need to know your cPanel username or password to access cPanel. This is why I find it to be the easiest and most reliable way to access cPanel. A similar process applies to Bluehost. Once you log into your Bluehost account, click on hosting right next to your web hosting plan. Click on manage. Scroll down a bit and you see cPanel. Clicking on cPanel will automatically log you into your cPanel account. On Namecheap, once you're logged in, click on hosting list, next click go to cPanel and that will automatically log you into your cPanel account. As I mentioned earlier, the same process applies to all web hosting companies. You basically have to log into your web hosting dashboard, select your hosting plan and you see an option to log in to cPanel. Another way to log in to cPanel is to visit your domain forward slash cPanel. As an example, my domain is on thecapture.com. All I need to do is to append a forward slash and then cPanel. And once I visit it, I will be presented with a cPanel login page. With this, you need to know your cPanel username and your password. Remember I mentioned earlier that most of us will send the cPanel login information in the welcome email. If that wasn't sent to you in your welcome email, your web hosting provider should provide an option to reset your cPanel password. If you don't see that in your web hosting account panel, what you want to do is to contact your web hosting provider and they will guide you on the steps to reset your cPanel password. Once you reset your cPanel password and have your login information, the next step is to go ahead and log in with your cPanel username and password. Here we are. That gives you direct access to cPanel. This is the industry standard way of assessing cPanel, so be sure to familiarize yourself with it. Now you know how to log in to cPanel. Be sure to check out other videos in the cPanel beginner series. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like it, share it, and support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Bye for now.